hello fans welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time please subscribe 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 as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that are subscribed my heart is oh, so big for you guys i pray may god give you your heart's desire this year in jesus name amen today we are talking about a big internet fraud osh poppy we all know osh poppy if you are from nigeria you know osh poppy in short if you are from africa you know osh poppy the big boy celebrity online that showed us money that showed us maca you know that showed us clothes you know gucci mr gucci and mr doshe gabbana that is who he is he showed us many things you know about money how to spend money how to eat money he was a big boy in the internet so his work is fraud yes 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 internet fraud that's who he is yes guys that's who he the hush puppy is and his real name is ramo abbas that is his, his, his real name, but we all know him for Osh Poppy. He, he was arrested in Dubai in June 2020, and they flew him from Dubai to America. Why did they arrest Osh Poppy? He has been doing fraud and everything. There was this American guy, I think he's from, no, he's from Dubai, I don't know. But he wanted to, they wanted to fraud him, and unluckily for them, that was their last, the last victim before they were caught so and they found out that they used to do this transfer of money imagine transfer of i mean billions millions into their accounts without control or anything in nigeria <laughs> anyway and you people know that osh puppy was not caught because there was this big police police officer was working hand to hand with him apa kayare he was working hand and he was covering all you know, all the secrets was covered by this policeman. And finally, Hand also meets the policeman just the way they just the way they cash Osh Poppy. Hand also caught up with this um Abba Kairi. Now, the main gist today <laughs> is that Osh Poppy has been declared the best cleaner in America prison. Hey, they have given him a award though. A award. This is an award now. Uh uh. People check it out. It's an award for Hush Puppy. They give him the best cleaner. Imagine Hush Puppy that teaches us how to eat, how to drink, how to. There is nothing that he, how to, he, he can even teach you how to enter private jets. If you don't have it, you learn it from Hush Puppy. If you don't have money to buy designers, Hush Puppy is going to teach you how to. <laughs> So that when you have money, you'll be ready. You know how to wear it already. How to be proud. How to show your money. How to chop your money. That is who Hush, Hush Puppy is. But unfortunately for him, he's in the prison, in America prison. Since they arrested him since 2020, he has been in custody, waiting for judgment. Two years of his life gone without judging him. They have not even judged the case. But they are giving him the best cleaner. And he said he's not going back to Nigeria. He said he's not going. That there is there's no way they can go back to Nigeria. That Nigeria is not safe for him. He's afraid of this police officer Abba Kayari that he called his name. He's afraid that he's going for his grandma will come for him. So he said he's going to remain in America. And the lawyers are fighting for him to get asylum political. When he gets this asylum political, there is no way they are going to deport him to Nigeria. And the human rights fights for people that are afraid that are that their life are dangerous in their country, they have to remain where they are. So let's see how it goes. Anyway, with this um, best cleaning, best cleaner, I mean, best, I don't even know that Hush Poppy can clean to the extent that they will give him the best cleaner. I wish him well all the same to have this grade at least. He's something. He upgraded. He's like he has upgraded there in the prison. So he said he's not coming. Hush Poppy remains in America. And they are going to give him a zero political. Let's see if it's going to work out the way they are saying it. Because I don't think so. Because they said his case is 20 years. It's like 20 years imprisonment. If the judge is going to cut down his case, we don't know. But his case is like 20 years. And he's going to pay back the victims. And if he doesn't have money to pay back the victim, they are going to seize all he have and sell it and use it to pay back the victim. He must pay the victims, that's what they say, because there are many many people that he has duped, they have all come out for him. And so even if he's in America, his life is also in danger there, because I don't know. 
maybe they are going to protect him they'll still give him body guys something like that because his life is going to be in danger he have duped many people that's the life of internet fraud they are not safe so my guys i just said like my fans i said let me just bring this to you people i'll end this video here so if you have not subscribed please subscribe and put like in my video like please please like the video subscribe just press the red button see you in my next video bye bye love you